Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Pragati Jain, junior resident in Dr. Vital Rao Vikhe Patil Medical College, Ahmedabad. Under the guidance of Dr. Sushil Kajwal Sir, the JD and Professor of Department of Radio Diagnosis. My topic for today is the study of CT imaging of acute pancreatitis in adolescent population. Introduction. Acute pancreatitis is not necessarily a rare disease. Even in adolescents, maybe in a life threatening if it is severe. Hence, uh, for determining the differential, uh, while determining the differential diagnosis of abdominal discomfort in adolescents, acute pancreatitis should always be taken into account when necessary. Urgent treatment should be initiated. CT scanning together with ultrasound is essential for diagnosing acute pancreatitis. CT is useful in evaluate uh, to evaluate any extra pancreatic lesions, monitor the uh, clinical score course, and uh, assess uh, assess severity. In particular, CT is superior for early assessment of acute pancreatitis uh, when ultrasound uh, findings are non-specific because of abdominal gases. Aim to determine the value of CECT in evaluation of pancreatitis in adolescent population to determine underlying causative factors. Uh, CECT is the uh, modality of choice for diagnosis and grading of pancreatitis. Protocol three phases are uh, taken non enhancing phase, pancreatic phase that is 20 to 40 seconds, and portal venous phase at 55 to 45 seconds. Non enhancing phase useful in detecting calcification or calculi. Also, uh, uh, so, the initial non-enhancing study is done. Pancreatic uh, parenchymal stage, it is an optimal phase for assessing the necrosis because normal pancreatic tissue enhances greatly uh, during this phase and uh, subsequent uh, imaging uh, with CT is generally performed using a single phase technique in the portal venous phase. Uh, CT features pancreas enhance uniformly in mild acute pancreatitis and may be normal or enlarged with variable amount of increased attenuation in the adjacent fat termed as stranding. A uh, local edema is a common finding and may exceed uh, extend along uh, the mesentery, mesocolon, hepatodutinal. Uh, ligament or into uh, peritoneal spaces. Extension of edematous fluid. Uh, into the anterior uh, perirenal space may create a mass effect and a halocyne with sparing of the perinephric uh, fat. Peripancreatic fluid collection consists of exudate, peripancreatic fat, uh, tissue necrosis or hemorrhage. Non-enhancement of all or part of gland is termed as necrosis. CT is 100% specific for necrosis if greater than 30% of the gland is not enhancing. Balthazar score or CT severity index was developed in early 1990s by M.D. Balthazar. Uh, CT severity uh, index is grading system used to determine the severity of acute pancreatitis. Uh, has maximum of 10 points. Uh, it is a sum of Balthazar grade points and uh, necrosis score. Uh, as mentioned in the table below, CT grades, first normal pancreas is greater as 0, edematous pancreatitis as 1, uh, edematous pancreatitis with mild uh, extrapancreatic changes greater as 2, severe extrapancreatic uh, changes including 1 fluid collection as 3, multiple or extensive peripancreatic collection as 4, necrosis if none 0, less than 1 third 2, more than 1 third, less than half 4 and more than half 6. Modified CT, CT severity index uh, it is uh, more closely, uh, it correlates more closely with patient outcome measures. Um, uh, it modified CT severity indexes, CT grade plus percentage necrosis plus extra pancreatic complications uh, as shown in the table below. Uh, my results, uh, I, I had taken 30 cases in the study in, uh, from which 19 patients were male, 11 patients were female. Uh, uh, based on the age group, uh, that is less than 13 uh, years of age, there was one patient. Uh, 13 to 16 years of age, there were 12 patients. More than 16 years of age, there were 17 patients. Based on the causes, uh, maximum cause, uh, maximum number of patients had idiopathic cause, followed by alcohol, uh, followed by biliary uh, and hyperlipidemia. Uh, the least percentage was uh, involving the hyperparathyroidism, pancreatic typism, blunt trauma, drug-related, and smoking. 
CT findings in acute pancreatitis uh, as shown below in my patients. Uh, peripancreatic fat stranding was present in 21% of the uh, 21 uh, cases and absent in 9 cases. Therefore, 70% of the cases. Diffuse of focal pancreatic enla enlargement was seen in 86.6% of the cases. Peripancreatic fluid collection was seen in 50% of the cases. This is an axial CT scan image shows uh, uh, showing bulky pancreas with evidence of peripancreatic and uh, mesentery fat stranding. Uh, you can see this. Another CT scan image uh, showing acute uh, peripancreatic fluid collection uh, in with acute pancreatitis. Uh, you can see irregular borders, heterogeneous pancreatic uh, parenchyma, fairly homogeneous hypotens, uh, consistent fluid, peripancreatic fluid collection. Distribution of uh, patients according to the modified CT severity score. Uh, about 20% of the patients uh, were seen in at score 2. 20% of the patients were seen with score 4. 13.3% of cases were seen with score 6. And 26.6% .6 cases seen with score 8. And 20% of the patients seen with uh, score 10. Uh, now the scores, you know, you, uh, were... They are divided into three groups, mild, moderate, and severe. Mild, uh, score between two to four. Uh, severe, six, uh, moderate, six, and severe, uh, eight to ten. Uh, from which 40% of the cases were seen as mild, 13.3% as uh, moderate, and 46.6% cases were included in severe. Uh, Peripancreatic uh, necrosis uh, was seen in... Uh, 87.5% of the severe cases and 12.5% of the moderate cases. Uh, this is a CT scan image showing bulky pancreas with non-enhancing necrotic areas in the body and tail of pancreas. Uh, this suggests of necrotizing pancreatitis. My discussion, the study conducted uh, in 30% of the adolescent patient uh, diagnosed with acute pancreatitis were included in the study. They, these patients underwent CECD of abdominal pelvis and were graded according to the modified CT severity index. Maximum number of patients uh, were between the age group of 16 to 19, 17, uh, 16 to 19, followed by 13 to 16. Uh, minimum age group was 11 years of age, maximum 19 years of age. Uh, therefore, the mean age was 16 years. Uh, 19 patients were male, 11 patients were female. There was no association with age and gender uh, uh, between uh, severity of pancreatitis. Uh, uh, there was a study conducted by Lankesh uh, uh, in uh, 602 patients of acute pancreatitis that showed no correlation with age, gender and uh, severity of uh, acute pancreatitis. Idiopathic pancreatitis was the most common uh, variety of acute pancreatitis seen in 11% of the uh, seen in maximum number of the patients, followed by alcoholics, followed by two patients uh, who suffered by biliary pancreatitis, out of which one patient suffered with thalassemia and the other suffered from sickle cell anemia. Two patients uh, suffered from um, hyperlipidemia while uh, hyperparathyroidism, pancreatic tibism, uh, drug related pancreatitis due to uh, corticosteroids and smoking accounted for one patient uh, or one case respectively. Out of 30, 14 patients uh, suffered with uh, edematous pancreatitis, whereas 16 suffered from necrotizing pancreatitis. Diffuse of focal pancreatic enlargement was seen in 86.6% of the cases, whereas peripancreatic fat stranding was seen in 70% of the cases, and peripancreatic fluid collection was seen in 50% of the cases. CT severity grade were classified into 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 according to the modified CT severity, CT severity score. We further classified uh, the grades into mild, moderate, and severe, as discussed prior.
out of the total uh, number of uh, uh, necrotizing pancreatitis cases that is 16 patients 14 percent had uh, were uh, belonged to the severe modified uh, CT severity index grade while as two belong to the moderate uh, modified CT severity index grade. Extra, peri peri uh, extra pancreatic complications were seen in 22% or uh, 22 patients, whereas uh, that is ascites was seen in 19%, bilateral pleural effusion in 3, left uh, pleural effusion alone in 5, uh, splenic vein thrombosis in 7, and portal vein th uh, venous thrombosis in 1. Um, no mortality uh, was seen in uh, my study. Recommendation, CT, uh, CECT is useful in early stages uh, of acute pancreatitis and it should be supplemented by modified uh, CT severity index to evaluate the severity of the disease to aid further management of patients as patients with moderate and severe grade of acute pancreatitis have a higher possibility of local complications. A follow-up study with ultrasound or CT uh, may be considered in these patients. Uh, the grade of acute pancreatitis was classified uh, as mild, moderate, severe, mild containing grade 2 to 4, moderate containing grade 6, and severe containing grade uh, 8 to 10. Thus, to conclude, idiopathic pancreatitis and alcohol accounts for a significant proportion of cases of pancreatitis in adolescent patients. Uh, CECT helps uh, in differentiating between edematous and necrotizing pancreatitis and modified CD severity index takes into account a variety of factors and helps a proper assessment of pancreatitis. These are the references as listed below. Thank you.